The robot lab develops the workers of tomorrow. Hello, Lata. How are you today? Hello. Can you speak? It's <laughs> amazing. I stand up. Uh, and it will fit both robots, so that's yeah. uh, perfect. Okay, fine. Great. Robotics is a multidisciplinary topic, and therefore it's uh, both natural and necessary for us at the Department of Automatic Control to have a close collaboration with researchers from other departments from the Faculty of Engineering. We also collaborate with colleagues from the Faculty of Medicine. Traditional robots, as we know them from the manufacturing industry, has successfully run applications like welding and um, material handling for decades. And automatic control in this context is much about finding algorithms for making the robot move faster and more accurately. However, we also study new concepts like this two-armed robot used for assembly operations. The robot is designed to be safe for human uh, co-workers to share workspace with. And it also has facilities like um, contact uh, control. So the operator can grab the gripper of the robot and move it and thereby easily instruct it in a new intuitive way. The uh, contact force control also provides other benefits. So you don't have to exactly specify where work pieces are located in the environment, but the robot can search for it itself and thereby being much more robust to misalignments and uh, deviations. Take the switch and put it on the table. And it can be expensive for companies to hire a robot expert every time they want to change something in their automated production line. Therefore, our group at the Computer Science Department at Lund University tries to make it easier for humans and robots to interact. In this experiment, we use natural language, that is, English, to instruct a robot. We also work with um, teleoperation of robots. For instance, keeping the operator away from an unhealthy or dangerous environment. Another application of remotely controlled robots we find in medical applications, like surgery. So already today, robots are used for medical surgery, where the surgeon controls one or more robot arms holding a scalpel, needle for sewing, or a scissor. However, it's the difference of controlling the scalpel by just looking where it is, or by actually feeling it as if you were holding it yourself. And here our uh, research on force control and haptic interfaces come into play. So we try to give the surgeon the haptic feeling back and also study how, for instance, network delays influence the performance. This is a so-called parallel kinematic robot. So uh, unlike uh, many industrial robots, which have the structure of a human arm, this has several rods meeting at the end plate here. So the construction is very stiff and rigid, and it can cover a large workspace, and the low mass of the moving part makes it very, very fast. <laughs> 